Up, up, my friend, and quit your books, or surely you'll grow double. A call to nature from William Wordsworth's classic poem, The Tables Turned. One impulse from a vernal wood may teach you more of man. It also inspired these enchanting sculptures, currently on display at Chesterwood. Chesterwood is the summer home, studio, and gardens of Daniel Chester French in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. French is best known for the Minuteman in Concord, Massachusetts, as well as the seated figure of Abraham Lincoln, considered America's most popular sculpture. A look inside reveals many examples of French's work as well as insights into his process. See the evolution of the Minuteman's gaze, or a subtle change to put Lincoln's best foot forward. Also evident, his love of nature. Well, I think French chose this location because of the beauty of the landscape in the Berkshires. He likes spending time in nature. We've been having contemporary sculpture shows outdoors since 1978, so over 40 years. It really follows the tradition where French himself would place his own work outdoors, but he also placed work by other sculptors uh, in and around the landscape. Down a forest path, this year's exhibit features art created from fallen or damaged trees, transformed by sculpting power couple Laura and Rick Brown. We've been married 48 years. <laughs> I grew up in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. That becomes part of who you are. And I grew up in a suburban environment, but learning to work with my hands and to make everything that we needed, and we've done that throughout our lives. They find the material they need on regular walks in the woods. Every day the forest changes, it doesn't go back, it's always changing. A new storm comes, a new tree is blown down and now we have new inventory. All those things that are happening stimulate ideas. Ideas that may start small, like these models, but when creating art out of 100 foot trees, you have to think big. We always work very big, they're always very cumbersome, very complicated and, and very difficult. And there's always a possibility that they might not even be successful. There's a lot of, you know, yikes, and then yes you can, and the team that worked with us was fantastic. The result? A spectacular display of creativity and ingenuity. Trees are possibly our greatest partner on the planet. So what we're doing is we're working with that actual stuff of the forest, so we, we're not competing with it. That's kind of tricky because, you know, we don't want it to be so integrated that you can't find it or that it doesn't make any difference. It has humanity attached to it. It's a very sweet kind of relationship within a bold composition. Made from nature, this art is designed to return to its roots. Our pieces have what we call a, a natural life. They're in the environment. They're going to go through all the things that everything else in the, in the forest is going through. So it changes the color and it starts to attract insects. It's on its journey through time. What I hope the show does is give people the motivation to see things they don't usually look at when they're in the forest. You see the piece and then you start seeing things around it. You're looking up at things that you may not have looked up at because it's just a dead tree. But as the piece entitled Wisdom shows, even a dead tree can hold knowledge. Or, as William Wordsworth wrote, Come forth into the light of things. Let nature be your teacher. Daniel Chester French was a local despite living in New York later in life. He considered Concord his home. The Minuteman statue, which first put him on the map, was done when he was barely out of his teens and he was paid for his studio time, but not the design itself. Coming up, a man's mission to spread an important message. I'd like to try to spend the next year potentially focusing on trees that are threatened by climate change. 